Tom Miller is a former member of the National Advisory Council for the Department of Health and Human Services and a resident fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Tom, good to see you. I mean, anybody who's got a question, if you enrolled on healthcare.gov, you better have a question because we don't know who the one out of four are who think they have insurance but don't. That's absolutely right. Uh, it's almost the motto should be, don't trust, do verify. You can't be sure of just about anything under this law. We know that the administration will eventually admit to some of its errors at the last possible moment when it has no other alternative, which is what it did this afternoon. They did not want to release the numbers, and the press, most of the press, was really pressing them, saying, let us know how many are we talking about and finally they came out, came out and said it's one in four for october november and it's one in ten for december since the relaunch of the website but this is the, this is all they're willing to admit to at this point in terms of whatever forms have gone wrong whatever submissions have gone wrong and now tom you know you sort of hear some hubris almost in the response saying it's on you you know you the only way we're going to get this fixed basically is you better start calling. The American people better do yet another thing to ensure that they have coverage. They're just trying to power their way through all of the mistakes, the evasions, the delays, uh, the misrepresentations, and then leave it in the hands of uh, the private sector partners who are supposed to clean up the mess. Uh, the insurers will be stuck with some of this. Obviously, patients will be inconvenienced. It's a big guessing game. Uh, and I would expect that these early estimates as to their errors are very carefully crafted to look better than they turn out to be. Do we have reason to believe, though, that they can somehow fix this? Because we've been told that the insurance companies, who by all accounts are working to try to set this right, to the extent they can identify people, are trying to do it by hand, doing That's comparisons right. and so on. But we're up against a deadline here for people who lost their coverage unexpectedly, thanks to the law, and now are, are not going to have it on January 1 unless they can, you know, right now they lost their coverage, but they think they have coverage, so they need to figure this out and get back to those people and have those people re-enroll by December 23rd. Do we think that's going to happen? No. Well, let's let's break that like break this down. This is supposed to be a state of the art high tech system. So first, you may have to mail in your application because the website doesn't work. Then your insurer is going to have to check each application by hand, and then you still have to then place a phone call to find out whether anything's accurate and have a conversation. This is not state of the art shopping experience, and it's far short of what average private sector web based uh, consumer retail service is like. You'd be out of business if you did this in the private sector. Wow. And then over on the insurance subsidy side, uh, you know, for the subsidies that are supposed to make your premiums more, you know, handleable, um, they're, they're asking the insurance companies to just guesstimate what kind of subsidy each of the enrollees is going to get and the government's going to cut them a check. All right, Tom, thank you for being here. You're welcome.